I thought it might be fun or interesting, hopefully, <laughs> to give you a little bit of insight into some of the items that I love and I use on a daily basis in my own life that I never really talk about. So let's just dive right in. I have some select items that I wanted to share with you. So the first item is this weighted vest. I have it on my lap, but it's this weighted vest. By the way, I'm not affiliated with any of these items in any way, shape, or form. I'm simply sharing the things that I use and that I endorse authentically. And these are the real things that I use in my life. So I just have to say that uh, as a disclaimer. Um, but the first item is this weighted vest. And I will uh, link the items, each item I speak about, I will link below for ease of reference, should you be interested in them. Uh, this is a weighted vest and it's by the company Apex Up. And I will link it down below. This comes in various weights. So you can select the weight that is appropriate for your body frame and your um, the way you're going to use it. That the weighted vest is for purposes for um, exercise, presumably. I purchased it, <laughs> I purchased it for a different reason. Um, so as not to get off on a long tangent, I enjoy wearing that uh, just around the house when I'm doing my domestic activities. I like the feeling of having that weighted vest on my person. So that's what I like to do with it. I like to wear it. I just find it benefits me mentally. But I will say that when I'm around the house doing chores, doing work, doing any domestic activities, like I said, I will also do things like air squats in the weighted vest. So I'm sure that has some, uh, you know, minimal as it may be, I'm sure it has some benefit maybe for my muscles, but in any event, I enjoy that weighted vest immensely. I've been wearing it every day for the past four and a half months. I just, like I said, I just like the sensation of that weight on my person. So I find that it helps with my anxiety. Of course, this is anecdotal and I'm just one person, but I'm sharing my experience. I find that helps with easing and soothing my anxiety, and I just find it to be uh, soothing generally. So that's the first item is the weighted vest. I love it. The next item is this light box. It's a portable light box and it's excellent. I use this in the morning primarily. I like this one because uh, as I was searching for the one to purchase, I first became interested in um, this product as a product because I was watching um, an Andrew Huberman podcast, as I do, and I learned a great deal about the importance of light exposure in the morning specifically to set the circadian rhythm and to it benefits the eyes, it helps produce melatonin later in the evening. It has a number of benefits, but anyway, he said that it's not necessary to purchase a really expensive or um, even a even a light box that is meant to simulate natural sunlight. He said he himself uses just a plain light box. So I was very encouraged by that because I'm a frugal person. So I went on Amazon and I had a look around and I decided on this one and I picked a good one, I have to say. So I will link this down below. I like this one because it's dimmable. I will use this in the morning. I use it every single morning while I'm journaling. And I will just set the light box up and it has a stand. It has this nice stand and you can do it either way. As you can see, it, it, it's very, very well designed, I have to say. And you plug it in and you can set it and you don't have to stare at it as such, but you can just have it so that you are exposed to it. So I will do anywhere from 20 to, depending on my morning, uh, how much I'm writing or doing my morning routine. The third item is uh, my shoes. Merrill Barefoot 
shoes. I first um, started wearing these types of shoes in 2011, so a long time ago. And when I made the switch to barefoot shoes, these are a minimalist shoe with a Vibram sole. Many manufacturers now make this type of shoe, this minimalist design, low profile, um, so-called barefoot shoe. And these are excellent for the foot health and for balance, stability, strength of the feet, which is a, a often neglected part of the body that we, you know, frankly take for granted how much our feet really um, do for us. And so when I switched to barefoot style shoes back in 2011, I, I have never looked back. I have purchased, oh gosh, it's been, I walk through my shoes quite literally um, to where there there's nothing left <laughs> to walk on. So I've I purchased you know two pairs a year roughly, and so you can do the math over the years. Just dozens of these shoes, but I still have quite a collection, <laughs> even with the ones that I've discarded. But I love these shoes, and um, they so as not to go on a long tangent again about each one of these topics because I think they can all, I can talk about them for a whole video, each one of them, but I won't do that. <laughs> I'll spare you. Don't worry. But these shoes are excellent. Um, not only are they stylish, in my opinion, and also when I go out, I have to say I get stopped by men and women, both um, people who are intrigued by these shoes, who maybe have never seen them, you know, evidently have never seen them before. And they'll say, oh, what shoes are those? They look great. They, you know, and then I'll just go on an elevator <laughs> speech about these shoes and they, these unsuspecting um, innocent people get a two minute spiel about how important, uh, you know, low profile minimalist sole shoes are for the health of the feet. In any event, I love these shoes and they are what I wear pretty much 24 seven, 365, save for the winter months where I have to wear boots, of course, because of the climate in which I live, that it's not appropriate to wear shoes like that. But in all the other months of the year, these are the shoes that I am wearing. I wear them for traveling. They're excellent for traveling because they can slip on and off. They're lightweight, obviously. And they just, um, they actually strengthen your feet if you look into the research about why these shoes, these types of shoes are, crucial for foot health and why they strengthen and how they strengthen the foot. Um, they, they lack support, uh, which is precisely why they strengthen the feet and why they're so good for the soles of the feet, the arches, the foot strength, stability, balance, um, is because they are lacking in cushion support, uh, which we are led to believe is needed, but that those are precisely the things that actually cause a lot of foot problems, a lot of foot pain. Um, our chronic wearing of so-called supportive shoes, ironically, lead to the exact opposite. But anyway, I love those shoes, so that's the next item. The next item is um, are these sunglasses. I love these sunglasses. These are polarized um, sunglasses. And I bought these randomly um, on Amazon. I will link them below. I love them. These are kind of middle of the range, although they are very affordable. I think I paid uh, 20 some dollars, I want to say, either 18 or 20. And in any event, they're under $30, certainly. And I receive more compliments about these sunglasses than any other sunglasses I've owned in my whole life. <laughs> so I will say if you purchase these, if you happen to purchase these, uh, prepare to receive many compliments from people because I find that whenever I wear them, I cannot wear them in fact without being stopped and asked what sunglasses those are. But they're polarized lenses, they're completely protective, they look great, they're lightweight, they're kind of like cheap and tearful, so I love those. And speaking of glasses, the next item um, are these, um, these are actually, <laughs> these are actually um, lab glasses. Actually, these are lab protective glasses that happen to be UV and 
um, blue light and ultraviolet light protective. Um, they, they are blue blockers, essentially. I purchased them for that reason, but I purchased the, this style, which is, you know, it's not, it depends on who you ask, I suppose, but they're not the most aesthetically pleasing types of blue light blockers. I purchased this style specifically because they can be worn, and I do wear them over my uh, prescription lens eyeglasses. So they're, they're practical. Um, they're use, they're more user friendly for me. Um, but they, um, basically I wear these, I wear these when I'm done with my work for the day and I'm kind of beginning to retire and move into my evening phase of the day. <laughs> and I will put these on to kind of soothe my, uh, vision and just generally I find them to be great for my senses. So uh, I just, I know there's a whole lot of science and even debate among whether blue light blocking sunglasses or blue light, blue light blocking glasses are effective or why or if they are or whatever. I don't even care frankly about any of that. I wear them because I just like the sensation of that orange light. Um, it, that amber hued light um, it soothes me. So I just, that's why I like to wear them. So I like them. <laughs> um, the next item is my sun hat, my beloved sun hat. You all know if you are uh, familiar with me at all, if you know me at all, be it on YouTube or real life, that I do not go anywhere besides the winter, um, where I'm wearing a different type of hat, of course. But I don't go anywhere outside. I don't leave my doorstep. I don't step out, I should say, without a wide brim hat on. And I'm no, um, so much so that I'm known in my neighborhood because I walk constantly too. Uh, I'm known as the hat lady. <laughs> so I have that, um, that's my nickname around here is hat lady, which I'll take. But I like this one particularly. I have so many <laughs> sun hats, so, so many. Um, and I wear them all, I do. But this is my favorite one. And it's it's my favorite one. I will link it down below. And if you are at all interested in starting a sun hat wearing habit, which I recommend for UV exposure to protect the skin, this is very important to protect your skin, to maintain that youthful look for as long as possible. We can delay the visible signs of premature aging by doing these simple habits like wearing sunscreen and wearing a wide brimmed hat, which I do. But that hat is so good because it's adjustable. It comes in two sizes. I get so many compliments on that hat from strangers, from everywhere I go, people stop me and ask me, where did you get that hat? And then I tell them, and then they probably go and get it. And I've given this hat to my sister, my mom, my dad even wanted one and I'm like, it's a woman's hat. <laughs> so I got him a different hat, but he wanted one. It's so good. It's so protective. It's wide enough to be protective, but it's not so wide that I can't, for instance, drive safely with it. I can drive with that on, have still full peripheral vision. That hat is glorious. And it actually too, this hat comes in a variety of different colors, and like I said, it comes in two different sizes. So if you are at all interested in a practical and stylish sun hat, which is surprisingly not an easy thing to find. It's it's easy to find one that's utilitarian, but not so good looking. And it's also good. It's also easy to find a really stylish hat, but it doesn't serve much purpose in terms of sun protection. This one has both. So highly recommend that. Um, the next item is um, my bra, actually, uh, no, not the one I'm wearing. I am wearing one of them, but I have more than one. So, um, the bra is the, this is from, uh, Lily Silk, a company called Lily Silk. And I will link this below. I love this bra and it is a one size, um, only bra and it's, it's part silk as the name would suggest but it is so stretchy and I just love the design of this bra. They have designed it so beautifully. 
it's seamless and it's laser cut so it lays completely flat against your skin and your curves. It doesn't bulge, it doesn't bump, it doesn't interfere with clothing. It gives a nice shape, I just love it. And it's very, very stretchy. And it, it, it's supposedly one size. I will say that I, I'm only me. I'm not of a, I'm neither smaller nor larger than I am. So I don't know how this would fit on someone who is substantially smaller or larger than I am, but it fits me very well. So I love it. It is as close to wearing no bra at all, I find, which is the best um, thing you can say about any undergarment, I think, is that it feels like you're not wearing it. So that's that. And then the next item is my pillow. This pillow looks very strange. I've taken my pillowcase off of it to show you the actual pillow, but it might be difficult to show in this way. Um, I'll get a better shot of it in isolation. I'm a back sleeper. I've been a back sleeper all my life. So I will say that I'm not sure how this pillow would be uh, comfortable, if at all, for people who are side sleepers. But to that end, this pillow is kind of back sleep training pillow. So maybe if you're not, I mean, that's what it says on the box, actually. I like the shape of it because it quite literally cradles the head. It's perfectly shaped where the um, cushion comes up and cradles the head. And so the contours of this pillow make it very um, fitting. I like the material. It's firm enough and it's soft enough. So it's just quite right for me and I like it, but I love this pillow. So I will link it down below. And um, yeah, that's my pillow. This is more of just a fun thing, but I do use it every day and I love it. This is a, a mouse <laughs> and it's a little leather, um, beautiful, small leather good, as it would be called. This was actually a gift from a dear friend of mine. It has a loop um, and it has a zipper and it's a coin purse. Uh, I suppose you could keep anything in here. You could use it as a lipstick holder or a chapstick holder or put some hairpins in it. I looked it up because I was so enamored with it. I think it's so darling and so cute. And the detail is honestly impressive. It's, it's all handmade. Um, and so I looked it up. It has a embossing on the back here. I looked it up and I tracked it down. And so I will link it down below if you're interested. I just thought this, for, in, for, for one, it's very special. It's a special item because I uh, carry this around in my bag every day. And of course, I think about the person who gave it to me. So that's special and meaningful from a sentimental point of view. It's just nice. But this is the type of thing where I thought I would throw this in because if you are looking for a gift for someone who you don't quite know what to get them or a gift for someone who has everything or this I think is great because you can give this to a child, you can give this to a man or a woman and they will be delighted to receive this I think because you can put anything in here as I said. It's a nice handmade, handcrafted item that you wouldn't necessarily purchase for yourself but it would make a charming gift. So I just thought I would include that because it brings me joy every day to look at it and to carry it around. And it even has these ears. It's just darling and it's it's 100% leather. So it's just well-made, will last a lifetime. And I think if you do give it as a gift or you know, even if you're gifting it to yourself and you're the recipient, uh, it's just a delightful little charming object. So I quite enjoy that. I wanted to include it. And then the very last item I have is these shorts. I know, so exciting. They're lounge shorts, but I love them because they're so comfortable and the material is just right. They're just stretchy enough. Um, they're just thick enough while not being too thick, but they're not flimsy and thin. They have pockets and the length is just perfect. They're not too short, they're not too long. And these shorts are just what I wear when I'm at home. The sensation of clothing is really, it's a whole thing with me. So all it's, it's hard for me to find clothing 
items that I am uh, in love with thoroughly is what I'm trying to say. It's often a to-do with me. So I took a chance and I got these shorts. These shorts are actually Amazon essential brand shorts. <laughs> so they're Amazon's own brand, um, but they're excellent. They're, they're affordable, they're comfortable, they come in all different colors. I have two pairs. I have the dark space gray, I think it's called, and then I have the speckled heather gray. Um, but they're just fantastic. They have a drawstring, they launder well. I've laundered them dozens and dozens and dozens of times and they hold up, they're durable, and I wear them constantly when I'm not out and about. When I'm at home, I'm wearing those shorts. So I wanted to mention them because they are a, a staple item in my daily life that I use and I never talk about. So those are the items that, I'm sure there are many, many more, but those are most of the items that came to me from on the top, off the top of my head that I wanted to share that, uh, that I use on a daily basis that are important to me in some way, shape, or form, in some fashion, and that serve utility um, in my life, even if it's just bringing me joy, like the mouse coin purse. So maybe, hopefully, this was um, informative or entertaining, otherwise uh, interesting. <laughs> Let me know <laughs> down below. I'm sure you will. And with that, I wish you the best of luck. I wanted to say hello and that I see you. I see each and every one of you. And I'm so grateful for you being here on my channel in whatever capacity uh, you are. So I wish you the best of luck and the best of health. And thank you so much for watching.